guys, good morning. So today I get to do something really fun. I get to make a bouquet for a bride who's getting married tonight. And this is something I have never done before, so I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, but she's been following our YouTube channel for a while now, and she really likes what we've done with succulents and some of our other things, and so she wanted to let us give it a try. So I'm really excited. So this morning, I'm actually going to be cutting a few things out of my own garden, and then I'm gonna go out to my parents and get some David Austin roses. Uh, mine are actually flushed out right now. I've got a few little buds, but nothing that's really perfect and the uh, local florist shop wasn't able to order in any kind of big cabbage type roses. So I'm gonna run out there and get those and then we are gonna go back to the florist shop and I'm gonna pick up everything I left there in the cooler to stay in there overnight uh, and then we will get started. So I'm actually gonna start by cutting some of this Dusty Miller. I love, love, love this blue and I think it'll be really pretty with um, blue succulents. I'm gonna use some Echeverias mainly and then um, some peach, like peachy color David Austin roses and some coffee berries that are kind of a pinky peach. I think it's gonna be really, really pretty. I know this is in one of my containers, um, but the spiral is something I transplanted this spring and it's starting to die. It's not loving it. I had to cut a whole bunch of its root ball off um, to fit it in this urn and it did not like it. So anyway, I need to replace everything in this pot so I'm not feeling too bad about sacrificing some of my plants here. But like, isn't this the tallest Dusty Miller ever? It's so gorgeous, I love it. I'm gonna make sure to strip the leaves. I don't know a whole lot about florist stuff, but I know that you don't want leaves in the water because it poisons the water. Okay, I'm also gonna cut a little bit of licorice vine because it's also got some blue color, but it's um, smaller leaved and it's got a little bit more like flow to it and I may use it. I think that'll be pretty. Isn't my licorice vine nuts? You can hardly see the other stuff in this pot. I have white verbena, which is kind of flushed out right now, black petunias, and I have three boxwoods in there, but this stuff, I probably shouldn't have put four in this container because it is wanting to take over and I've already trimmed it once. Looks like I got everything that I might need out of my garden, so we are gonna head out to my parents to get some roses. my parents I'm gonna run in and say hi. <laughs> Looks like Tess is going to be joining us, cutting some flowers. We have to go out by the barns. My parents just um, are starting to landscape around our their sheep barn. I say are still, like I live here still. Uh, the sheep barn and the chicken barn. Um, they just started last year. They put in lots of David Austin roses. So I think we'll find some good stuff out there. Right there is their beautiful pool. So those aren't looking super great. So I'm going to go around to the other side of the barn and see what we can find. These are looking a little past their prime, and there's our cows. We will be eating one of those cows in October. We are not vegetarians. Okay, it looks like there's one rose out here. Hopefully we can find more in the yard. And it's not good, it's not a perfect rose. So I think I'm gonna go find some iceberg roses in the yard, and hopefully a couple of David Austins that look decent. So we got two roses out here. They're beautiful and they'll help out, um, but everybody's roses are just flushed out right now. They don't do really well in the heat and it's been over 100 for a little bit. So I'm gonna go back and see what I can scrounge out of my garden and then we'll just make do. I've got some really pretty Vendella roses anyway and I put them in some warm water yesterday so that they would open up. They're just like more of a classic tea rose look, um, but when they're really open and wide, they're really pretty too. So I think it'll still be beautiful. We are at the florist shop and we're gonna pick up the rest of our goodies. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so I've got everything gathered up and I've got way more than I need, but I always like to plan for the worst. Um, so first of all, I have my beautiful selection of succulents and these are mostly all, let's see, we've got Echeverias, Pacavarias, and a Graptivaria. 
So just really pretty rosette shapes and kind of more blues in tone. I may not use the greenish ones, but we'll see. And then I got some really pretty Vandella roses here, just in some whites and kind of a peachy pink. I was actually hoping that they would open up a little bit more. I got them from the florist yesterday and I um, put them in warm water, recut them, put them in warm water and was hoping for them to open. These ones did a little bit better. Really pretty and nice and full, but the peachy ones kind of stayed tight. Then I've got my Dusty Miller and Licorice Vine, which I cut out of the garden this morning. And I got an assortment of roses from the florist, my yard, my parents' yard, and the nursery where I work. So this is what I was able to gather. Got some gorgeous white freesias, and I wanted to use these because, uh, well, they smell really nice and I like the white color, but I also like the texture that this brings right here. Kind of makes it a little bit more whimsy. A few white wax flowers, and these are a great filler. They just take up a lot of space and they still add a little bit of a fun, delicate texture. Coffee berries, and I love the color of these. And I think that these will bring out the color in the peachy roses really nicely. And it'll bring a little bit of a nice texture to the arrangement. Now I wanted ranunculas or peonies or white or pink dahlias, and this is all they could get from me at the floor shop. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to use these. These are pretty orange. These might be a little bit garish. So if I don't use them in this bouquet, I'll make something for the house somewhere. And the last thing I have is some seeded eucalyptus, which has a great color and texture to it. So this is another great filler. And the other things that I have here, I've got some clippers and scissors, um, some florist tape. I've got some 18 gauge wire, which is what I'll use to wire the succulents. And then in the end, I have some really pretty burlapy ribbon that's got just a little bit of a faint lace trim. I think that'll look really pretty. The first thing I'm going to do is clear everything off and start wiring my succulents. The first one that I'm going to use is this beautiful graftive area and I kind of want this to be the centerpiece. I really want this one to shine. I actually had this in one of my arrangements in my bathroom and I couldn't find anything quite like this at any of the stores or at the nursery where I work so I just decided to cut mine off and use it. I think it'll be worth it. The first thing I'm going to do is insert a wire right toward the base of the stem but being really careful. I don't touch the leaves or anything because they break off really easy. So you just push it all the way through and then you fold down. Kind of like that. Now so this is a really really heavy succulent so I'm going to add several wires so that it's nice and strong. So I'm going to move down a little bit from where I pushed that first wire through, push another one through. Kind of like that. See how it's kind of standing on its own right there? I think two wires will be plenty for this one, except I'm going to add one more and not push it all the way halfway through, just maybe like this much through, so I can have a little bit of a longer stem. Kind of like that. So we'll take the florist tape and we'll start right at the base of the succulent and you kind of stretch the tape, that's kind of what it makes it sticky, and start wrapping. We actually did a video with Cindy from the Succulent Perch in February where she showed me how to do this. It was my very first time, so thanks Cindy for showing us what to do. This has really been a fun thing to be able to, to do. Now I can add succulents to whatever, it's so super fun. So you just kind of pull as you go and twist all the way down. Break off the tape. Oops. Kind of not like that. And finish it off. And then retrieve your roll of tape. So done with my first one, my focal piece. And I've got a bunch of other ones here, but I think I'm gonna only wire three of the pack of areas. Um, because they've got that nice icy blue that's going to look really pretty. Look at that with the peach color. That's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, Hannah, the bride, sent me a picture of kind of what she was thinking and it was kind of peaches and blues and it's kind of more of a tight molded bouquet and not very big. So I could probably make, oh, I don't know, three bouquets out of what I have here. So if anybody else is getting married this weekend, I'll make you bouquet. So I'll wire these three right here and then I'll just kind of set these aside. If I need them, I can use them. Um, I didn't want to be short, so. So to start here, I'm gonna just pop it out of its pot and I'm gonna remove most of the soil. 
from around the stem. This one is nice because it has a nice long stem. So I'm just gonna cut just like that. And the wonderful thing about these succulents is while the other flowers in the bouquet will fade, you can take all the tape and wire off these things and stick them down in soil and they will reroot, which is really nice. So it's kind of like a memento that will keep on going after your wedding. So I'm just gonna wire these the same exact way I did the first one, but I will probably only use two wires on these ones. You know what? Just kidding. I think one wire is gonna be enough for these ones. These are not very heavy and the stems are not very big, so I don't wanna wreck the stem by punching too many holes in it. So I think one's gonna be perfect and um, I did not put this one all the way halfway through. I put it, um, I don't know, about a third of the way through so that I can have a nice long stem. So I'm just gonna tape it up the same way I did the first one. One down, two more to go. So they're all done. I've got four succulents to start off with and since this uh, bouquet isn't gonna be huge, I think that'll be enough, but we shall see. So to make this process as easy as possible for myself, I think I'm gonna take out everything that I think I'm gonna use in the bouquet and dry off the ends and just create little piles for myself so I can easily grab and, and create. I'm all ready to go and I think for this next part we're just gonna speed it up. There's not gonna be much commentary because I got nothing. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna try to put it together and make it look pretty and hope that the bride loves it. So here I go. to start this bouquet over again I would make sure to de-leave all of my branches. Uh, it's kind of hard to hold on to it and de-leave at the same time. I just didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how long the branches I was going to be using or how long the stems I should say um, and kind of how it was going to come together. So you know what this is a great learning experience for me. I think I'm all done and I am super happy with how it turned out. So I've been just holding on to it and adding as I go and so I'm starting to get a total hand cramp. Um, but I'm gonna take some of this tape and just wrap it around all of the stems super tight and just wrap it around a lot of times just to make sure everything is nice and secure. And um, I'm going to be covering it with the ribbon so we won't see any of this. I missed a thorn somewhere on one of these roses. I'm going to thoroughly check this thing out before I give it to the bride anyway, so hopefully I catch anything like that. We're to the last steps, and all I need to do now, now that it's all taped off and I added a few more fillers, I think it will lay really nicely in the bride's hands, you won't really see underneath, um, is finish it off with, with a little bit of ribbon to cover the tape. And so I'm just gonna cut a piece of this off. I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna need, I might be trimming it a little more. But you just start it and wrap it around. So see there we've got, I wrapped it a few times around there and I'm just gonna trim it and just use a little dab of hot glue to finish it. Little dab of hot glue. And I'm gonna actually fold the end here so it gives us a nice little seam. And then I'm just gonna continue doing that all the way down. Okay, so the ribbon is done and she just wanted real simple, just kind of burlap, but I thought the little lace was a little special touch on it. Um, and then so I'm just going to go in and cut all of the stems straight and just stick it down in fresh water so it is ready to go for her. So they're all cut and I can just set it down in the water. I might have to get a taller base. Oh, that'll work. So now I get to clean up my mess and we are going to head over to Emmett, Idaho. This is where the wedding is tonight and um, drop off the bouquet and get some pictures with her. So I'm really excited about that part because she's a beautiful girl and it's gonna be, I think there's gonna be some really pretty pictures. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. okay in a room full of bridesmaids and they really loved it so I'm excited and they all are getting ready curlers in their hair and stuff so I remember those days <laughs>
just left the wedding site and I think it turned out awesome. The bride loved her flowers and she looked beautiful and the flowers looked even more beautiful when she was holding them. So it was perfect, don't you think? Yeah, I think it went great. I think we got some good pictures and some good video and I'm really excited to show you guys. Anyway, thanks you guys for coming along for the journey today. It was a fun project and I hope I get the opportunity to do it again sometime. So we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.